Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday after the Thursday, where we saw rates plumb the weekly lows, 358, and then come roaring back at the end of the day to 366. We had an oddly uh, good trading day yesterday. Everything seemed to work, um, with the exception of Euro Sterling. And Euro Sterling, it's not like it didn't work. You know, we we bought 52s. But then we had to kind of wear some fucking negative price action post fix. And we just we just cut that shit. Very tiny loss, four point loss. But uh, short crude, long Aussie. We were long gold at the open. We were short dollar yen all day. Uh, oddly, a uh, very good day. Even though, like, I didn't really understand what was going on, it just had a sense that this was going to happen, and then we squared up, and here we are. We're going to take probably the opposite of all of those positions uh, today. Today's a new day. Um, a lot happened. Stocks got stocks got hammered. Uh, Ninety handles. Let's look at that first. Let's look at dollar yen because this is important. We're we're long dollar yen. We just just got long here. We had some comments um, from uh, one of the BOJ fellas, Anam Anamia. I don't know. Uh, BOJ guy shook dollar yen up a little bit, um, but we walked in, you know, about an hour ago. Paid sixty fives. Uh, this looks like she wants to go now, right? Just like yesterday, we were looking at it, saying, "Jesus." Why isn't this higher? Uh, the price action looks left today. It's the exact opposite. So then, you know, we took out stops below yesterday. Um, a lot of us sold, you know, we were short from 130.140. We sold 130.72s, um, which is right here on this hour. And played around, harvested. And then scratched the 72s on the way back up. We didn't get long. Um, we were just, you know, at that point it was 5 p.m. And we were just tired. Um, but yesterday looked left. Today it looks and feels right. So as in feels right, looks right. Um, see what I'm doing there uh, about right. Anyway, um, now this is tricky. Unlike yesterday where... This was a break trade. You had loads of room on the downside. You have no um, no real support. This is tricky through 131.86 because you have 132 the figure, which is going to be some natural, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just call Japanese standard. Standard operating procedure is, is Japanese leave bids and offers at 50 and, and, and figure. Um... So it's not really a break trade. I would say it's more of just trying to accumulate and get long. Um, this eventually looks like she wants to go. Unless th unless this yield 3667 right now goes back down to, say, 362, looks like uh, dollar yen right-hand side today. Fuzzy. We were long yesterday. Um, just... I don't, you know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just looked like it, you know, stocks looked like they wanted to go higher. You know, we had that weird move in tens. We were like, why is this at 360? Why is it at 360? Well, turns out it was just squeezing some people and fucking with some people. And Aussie, I guess, did the same. So it made a new high up at 70.09. Um, you know, we just scratched 35 pips out of it, got out of it, square again. Um, bang! Don't want to. Don't mean to flex, but we talked about uh, seventy-nine bucks. I think we talked about it on Twitter. As that was going to hold. That was a quick. You know, I mean, it took four hours, but bang! That was um. Not often does it go that smoothly in trading. Um, crude took a digger. 
now it's back in sort of neutral territory, 77, 71. Um, no B in my bonnet right now for crude. Uh, I think it's probably going to go left again, but this also can easily, you know, sneak and take out these highs, <clears throat> maybe print some 79 mumble. Uh, long, long and short of it is we're not long or short crude. Uh, we're square again. Um, so let's stop talking about yesterday and let's talk about today. Uh, dollar Swiss. Is 92.90 going to trade today? Kind of weirdly feels like it. I have, you know, this is just like an intuition, right? Um, there's no U.S. numbers. There's Canadian employment today. We got some U.K. bullshit coming down the pike, uh, which is all going to be shit. Um, is 92.90 going to trade? I don't know. It just kind of feels like it. Uh, you know, we talked about how Euro Swiss is driving me fucking bananas yesterday. Uh, Euro Swiss turn bid. We talked, you know, we talked about how I get emotional about Euro Swiss. So I'm not going to trade Euro Swiss, but you know, just as a, as a, as a directional signal here, this thing finally turned bid, right? It, it somehow it held 55. I don't know why 98.55 ended up being low, but we bullish engulfed. It was bid all day, not crazy bid, but just bid. And when Euro Swiss is bid and yields are higher, Dollar Swiss can, you know, can get some get get a bit of mojo going. Um, looks, I don't know. It looks like 92.90 is gonna gonna trade in it. And it looks like it's going to be 3.30 p.m. on a Friday. We're going to be pretty tired after get, you know, getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning all week. Friday at 3.30 p.m., you're obviously tired. And we're going to be debating whether to break trade 92.90. Um, our yield's going to be at 3.74. Just using our imagination here. I don't know. It kind of feels like it. Um, that said, we're not long dollar Swiss. Uh, or long his cousin dollar yen uh, same trade uh, same bias let's see but either way uh, just good to remind yourself every day 9290 is super important this is like one of those levels if you go back to 2022 here's a good one um, 93.72 was a medium term deal we broke it one time up to 94.72, then we went back below it, and then once we broke it again, you know, shit went a thousand points. Um, this is what Dollar Swiss does. It lulls you to sleep. It pisses you off. Um, you know, that's what Dollar Swiss does. It's kind of like, you know, just a just a pisser. Anyway, Aussie uh, should go left today because stocks look like they want to go more left. Finally, this looks like it's been resolved. Uh, price action between 4100 and 4200 looks like it's been resolved. Now um, she wants to go lower. So we want to sell high ones in stocks today, maybe up back near 4100. Um, you know, we're not conviction short here. We're just trying to get 40, 50 handles in this shit uh, and then harvest and then move on. Um, sad that we didn't sell yesterday. But, you know, well, it, it really looked pretty big there. Like I got to say, like in the morning, all the stock marks in the world look pretty big. But, uh, you know, if wishes were horses today, we will look to sell up near uh, 4,100. I don't think this is going to turn, but the key seems to be this this ten year yield, um, and let's just keep an eye on that. Quickly, um, let's look at sterling because we have some sterling numbers out. I think it's GDP, and um, this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Euro sterling is just squeezing the shit out of people. Eventually, this euro sterling is going to turn. Um, the guys from SockGen were saying it could, could go down to 88 before it turns. And they even said 87.5, which I think is horseshit. 
but it could, right? You can see how this is just like squeezing these longs. Where's the last stop going to be on these longs? Probably through 88 to figure. Um, so if, if the UK number surprise on the top side, this is a fade down near 88 euro sterling. Cable, there's not much to do here. Um, the, the recent range low, um, 118.36. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the that's the neckline of this double top. So that's actually a very important level, but it's too far away today. The recent range low was 119.63. Um, that's the 200 day down there. This is important. I don't um, I don't see it as a real possibility, but it could, right? But if it's gonna it's gonna be a bit stretched down there if it does. So long and short of it is. Um, no idea with cable, and you're kind of at the mercy of the numbers. I do like to pick up Euro Sterling. We tried it yesterday, it didn't work. We're going to try it again today. Down near 88, the figure. Euro Norway finally accelerated to the downside, traded down at 89. If you still have this trade on, just square it. Um, oil looks fragile. Le it, oil went left way too easy, way too easily yesterday. Um, so just be careful. This one, it's been a nice trade. If you've sat with it, it was a little bit of a fucking, you know, pain in the ass um, on Tuesday. But then just trading from the short side paid. Um, we did not hold this down to 1090. Uh, in fact, we were kind of like chewing on sawdust because we squared this shit at 1098. Um, but you got your 10 big figures. This is what we're trying to do. Don't want to be greedy. It's been a good week. So just shut the fuck up. Elsewhere, gold. Let's just look at gold. Uh, we got paid on the long side yesterday. Now it's like fucking 40 bucks lower. This thing just got hammered when rates went higher. Um, and it just kind of spooked people, right? So this is that opening hourly bar yesterday. We paid 83s. Um, sold. 87s just because it was just a cluster of fucking dollar shorts that we had on and we just sort of you know no real idea what was going on and then we just stopped looking at it because we were focusing on dollar yen and some other shit yesterday but man this was a bull trap holy cow was it um and people are paying the piper on this gold can go a lot further lower um the real support is now like 1800 to 1830 and, and when gold goes left hysterically like this it goes a lot further than people think um, this is uh, I didn't I wasn't sure that how 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 long the market was of gold up here I guess they were very fucking long but also just rates you know if rates go to 380 uh, which I think they are uh, gold can just get hammered so be careful with gold. We're not playing gold today. I just wanted to mention it. Um, talking a lot. Haven't said too, too much. Focus uh, is long dollar yen here at the beginning. We're going to sell high ones in stocks uh, near 4,100. We're going to try and buy low ones in euro sterling, especially if there's some, some numbers that drive some short-term volatility. Um, and we're watching dollar Swiss. We're not long dollar Swiss. Um, almost like we're just afraid dollar Swiss is like a bully that's been beating me up at my locker in middle school you know all every day so I'm just afraid of fucking dollar Swiss even though I'm an American who lives in fucking Switzerland um, but is she gonna trade 9290 today it's like got that spooky eerie feeling uh, who knows listen uh, good luck today trading everyone I will uh, see you on the flip side Monday. Have a good weekend, people. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao.